guys, we're back with Joe um, downtown for the fire alarm upgrade. So uh, as you can tell, the system is in the wall now. So I was just gonna have Joe kind of walk you guys through showing you what he's done in the last, I guess it's been a week since I've seen you. So in the last week. So Joe, go ahead. Um, so obviously it looks a lot different. Um, we got the hole cut out um, to fit this panel. Uh, we got the cabinet recessed in the wall. Um, we were able to uh, put a junction box above the ceiling, so we were able to trim back a lot of the wires and get rid of a lot of the wires that weren't being used. Uh, so I'll just kind of open it up and give you a little tour of the inside, show you what we've been doing. Um, so obviously not nearly as many wires inside the cabinet as there, was, as there were before. Um, we ran some tubing um, up through the top of the cabinet, up the wall, um, and that's where we fed all the wires down into. Um, these wires up here are the individual speaker circuits for each floor. Um, then we have uh, you know, the enunciator by the front door that's hooked up to the panel as well. Um, these three wires down here are pretty much all of the um, initiating devices, uh, so your pole stations, your smoke detectors, um, you know, any kind of door relay or sprinkler monitoring devices. Um, and then you have the three power supplies down here. Um, we have a couple of um, 110 amp hour batteries down in the basement that are wired up through the bottom uh, for backup battery in case the um, we have loss of power. Um, that's pretty much the inside of the panel. And then we do all of our testing on Tuesday. We'll have a, an empty building for election day. So, um, What kind of um, testing are you going to be doing on Tuesday? Um, so testing, we'll be testing everything. Uh, pretty, it's pretty much going to be our uh, record of completion. Um, so we have to make sure all of the speakers and strobes work. Um, we have to make sure the elevators recall on an, on an alarm. Um, let's see, uh, they have... Um, some other voice messages that go along with this system that we'll be testing at that time as well. Uh, all of the, the devices connected to the sprinkler system. Um, pretty much a, a complete test just to make sure 100% um, that everything on this system is working the way that it should. And when you do the testing, I'm assuming one person has to stay here and then other people are yeah, nor yeah, normally you'll you'll need one person to stay at the panel to make sure it's reading. Yeah, and then let you know what alarms are actually coming in and okay. uh, make sure they have the right um, address and right uh, location description. Cool. So this is what week six. Yeah, week six. Uh, this is pretty <laughs> much the, the finished product. Um, they they they're going to put some trim around it, um, re wallpaper, and you know make it look nice and and pretty, but. Uh, essentially our part is done except for the testing and so the second the second cabinet that was there is going to be completely closed out all you need is just this one yep um, and that's the, the old system was you know almost 25 years old so it's just you know the advanced technology um, you know you don't need as, as need many as, as many parts as as you did before cool Awesome. Well, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you for showing us. We just wanted to do a follow-up so everyone got to see what it looked like. I was curious myself to see what it looked like. So, Hunter wants to know, it says, does the Siemens XLS have evac? Uh, no. Um, I'm, I'm not sure what, what he means by does it have evac. Like, I'm assuming like evacuate. Does he mean like evacuation stuff? Uh, what does he mean? I mean, if, if it means like smoke evac, uh, that's tied to this system as well. Um, so the alarms will open and close dampers um, to allow like the smoke control. Oh. Um, if that's what he's talking about by like evac or um, it does have a voice message, you know. Voice, where... yeah, he's asking voice uh, evacuation. Oh, okay, yes, that'll, that'll come over the speakers uh, where, um, you know, it's a pre-recorded message uh, pretty much telling everyone there's a fire emergency in the building and that they need okay. to you know seek their nearest exit so yeah that's a, a pre-recorded message that will come over the speakers in the event of an alarm that's cool awesome any 
Anything else? That was it? Nope, that was it. Awesome. Thanks, guys. We're going to be um, going live tomorrow from Print Resources and Indy showing you guys um, security install. So see us tomorrow. Thanks.